Good morning folks, this is Zain Masam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. I'm back with an update on coronavirus and its influence on financial markets. Yesterday's price action was particularly important because at 1.30 UK time, we had the US GDP number. But what happened just before the US GDP number was released, we had news from Gilead Science that one of its medicine to treat coronavirus patients has become a lot more effective. The results were a lot more promising. Now, investors completely ignored the US GDP data, which, by the way, plunged enormously. In fact, the first quarter GDP plunge was the largest since the financial crisis, meaning 2008 and paid more attention to this positive aspect which came out from Gilead Science and obviously the stock jumped on the back of that. At one particular time it was above 10% and then it continued to trade above 6% throughout the day. Now today, of course we had the differential GDP number which came in at minus 5.8%, missing the expectation of minus 4%. But once again, investors are not paying attention to this. Why? Because they believe that the ECB is there to support. Just like how the Federal Reserve assured in its meeting yesterday that the interest rates are going to stay at current level for an extended period of time. And they said coronavirus has left a major scar on the US economy. So the ECB is also expected to jump into a high yield bond market, pretty much a junk rated bond market. Why? Because the, 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 the third biggest economy of the Eurozone, Italy, has been massively impacted over here. And the debt is already downgraded by rating agency, the Fish ratings, right? So the ECB really needs to provide further assurance in order to soften blow of coronavirus. So that is why we are seeing positive momentum in European markets. This is why all the European indices, CAC, DAX, IBEX, FTSE, MIB, Stock 600, Stock 50, all of these major indices are trading to the upside. That's all for today. See you guys tomorrow.